Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Welcome to the Relay Hello. Station. One and all. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All uh, right. So da David is not here. Hi, Stat. David. Uh, David um, is not here because uh, David had uh, to to attend a pure alumnus. white wedding. A pure uh, white wedding. Relay alumnus, uh, six Fs in caps, is getting married today. Uh, that is not the announcement. <laughs> that is that is not the announcement. Oh, excuse me, Nomad. Did you have something to say? This is meant a few words. That one. Um, he probably chose to get Not married. David, during... six F's and caps is getting married. Yeah, six F's and caps is getting married. David is at the wedding. Although yeah, I guess Dave... we could say congratulations. I think David's to David. in the wedding. Probably. He's not very happy about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Given that it's in the middle of COVID. Yeah. Um. But uh. Yeah, he wanted to be here, but he is not. Um, David he... is also getting married uh, yes. soon. Well, actually soon. He's talking like 2020, 2022 now. Of oh, really? COVID. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. They can't really have a COVID wedding, so. Yeah. They're sort of just like, <laughs> whenever it's over. <laughs> Darch has de declared them married. There, it's over. Great. <laughs> I mean, they do have a child also, so. <laughs> oh, that's it's not funny. working. That ship sailed long ago. <laughs> uh, how um, you doing, Shimmer? I can taste colors. Okay. Um, what I'm does tasting um, the color right now? It's pink. What does Orange. mahogany taste like? Chips. Oh, interesting. Like. Just by themselves, no sauce. Yep. Okay. Hmm. That's very interesting. Is that a Soda Stream bottle, Jake? Says yes. Sarger, Sarger. It is. Yes. Soda Streams are uh, great. Yeah. I didn't have. I didn't have my my normal G Fuel bottle thing. Is is uh, is being dishwashed. Um, and I wanted more G Fuel, so I, I'm just drinking it from the bottle. Uh, I carbonate my G Fuel because it's delicious. Um, if, if anybody's I went wondering... To school, I went to school with someone who used to carbonate milk. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. I watched a I watched a video on YouTube of somebody who did that using his soda stream and Ooh. they're like this is horrible. Oh. Gross. Um <laughs> all right everybody, uh we do have an announcement to make. Uh we are going to make it uh, later in the dead middle of the show uh just to give everybody enough time to, to Yeah, show it, up here. It, it's yeah, we're doing the whole uh we're doing the whole clickbait thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um so but we got stuff to talk about star citizen related yeah first um first of all first thing i want to say is if my face looks weird or i talk weird at all during the show i got i was uh at the dentist this morning i was frozen so if you're wondering frozen. i don't know i don't have bell's palsy or anything i just <laughs> just have a half frozen face oh no um but uh, yeah, we're gonna slide into show and tell right away here with the Nomad. Now, yeah, I want to shiver. I want to know what you think of this ship right off the bat. Uh, I thought it was a good idea to name it after a Sepultura song, for starters. Is it? Is that what it's named after? Yes, that, that's the only possible <laughs> conclusion I have. I like it. I like it. 
Any other it's, thoughts? It's a nice looking ship. It's a nice looking ship. It's not the most original of looking ships, but it's nice looking. Uh, yeah. What was the price of that one again? Remind me. Uh, oh, uh, I think it's like 80, 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Non war bond. Uh, I think. 70 bucks war bond. Yeah. So, so it's uh, reasonable. Uh, yeah. Split it, the difference it's not between quite... an Avenger and a Cutlass. Right, yeah, right smack it's in a bit. It's... It's a bit more expensive than your average starter ship. It's it's good for your um, cargo running, so you're going to earn your money back mm-hmm. in game yep. fairly quick. Yep. Nice on the design. It's a, the open. I want to say boot, but no one would get that. The open no, cargo I, I got area. You. Yeah, yeah. It's the boot. Open I, boot. I actually I really like that idea. I th- I was weirded up by it for a little while, and then I started seeing it in action, and I'm like, that is a really smart and thing also, to do. And also, like <laughs> uh, ships with with cargo on the exterior of the ship is an established thing in Star Citizen also. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it, this is just a different way to do it. It's also paying homage to Star Trek Discovery. Uh, I'm, I'm having difficulty with that reference right now. <laughs> what? The distinctive shuttle bay on Discovery. Oh, yes. oh yeah, that's okay. so cool no, with I just the force you. field across it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're I love that. Right. Also, everybody out there, if you haven't watched Discovery, season three, the first five episodes of season three make it worthwhile to watch the entire first two seasons. So go watch the damn show. <laughs> I like the fact that in true Discovery uh, fashion, they made a canonical error in the first episode wow. of the. Of what season of three? Discovery. Oh, oh, the first episode yep. of the yeah. Well, of course, Star Trek does that all the time. Star Wars they probably do does it even all. worse, but <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. The, no, they don't make canonical errors that much anymore. Mm-mm. Not anymore. I thought there were a whole um, bunch in the in the recent movies. Yeah, to to the old canon that Disney said it doesn't exist anymore. Oh right, it said that the old so, canon. So is So it's not, not canon. Not, okay, so therefore, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> that's um, hilarious i like that the other movies never happened ignore them no no um they, we're doing their own thing contradicted any movies <laughs> they've never contradicted any of the tv shows um and they said the the movies and the the cartoons are the only things that are canon from 20 uh from 2014 back anything else is gone um from 2014 huh. onward they're like hey this is everything we put out is canon 100 percent so, um, so yeah. interesting. Uh, they they did delete forty Luke clones. They absolutely did that, and thank <laughs> God they did it. Oh, that's awesome! Um, hey, Carbide Edge, I thank you for thirty five months. Hot take, my hot take, everybody, is that Disney has done more for Star Wars than George Lucas ever did. Oh, because George yeah. Lucas would stomp all over the uh, like he would license out people to add to his canon and then he'll just stomp on it. There's four origin stories for Boba Fett Four. <laughs> which one's right. The last one. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. The Nomad. Um, cool. I'll, I'll enjoy Star Wars without all of you. Bye. I get joy and you get nothing. Fine. <laughs> um, so uh, I also, I... Dolvax, Dolvax said a second ago, can, can you consider the barf factor of cramming like 10 players onto this thing? We did that last night. And it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I really love uh, that's sort of like the, you know, the emerging gameplay bit that always comes with every Star Citizenship you can stick things in the back, like players and like ground vehicles, and they can fire out the back of that thing while it's mm. flying around. <laughs> yep, uh, we did. We launched vehicles from orbit off the back of it. Uh, you cannot ride the skids. You can't. They oh don't darn! Have physics grids. Um, That's okay. We, just stand in the back. Really wanted to ride those skids. I want. I just want to line up like six of my buddies in the back with rail guns. You know, yeah. <laughs> Haul, um, like pull also, up alongside a constellation and blow a hole in the side of it. <laughs> uh, do you? It's a really good option. What's that? The anti-air uh, uh, tumbrel fits like a glove. 
<laughs> it's awesome. That's amazing. It's awesome. Also, I have to give them huge credit for this ship. The uh, entire cockpit is just incredible in this ship. Yes. Oh, holy crap! The touch what a good screens. Job. Oh, and the visibility. Oh. You can see like all the way down to your feet. So I mean good. that that's 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 uh, consolidated Outlands whole thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They, they they love big, like more than half of your FOV cockpits. What do you think? Can we the take a moment here? to just appreciate the flight of the Navigator style ladder? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Yes, <laughs> shiver. I thought the same thing to myself, and I'm like, nobody's gonna get that reference. <laughs> Shiver would get the right. This is why I can count on you. This is this is why we're friends, Shiver. Is this this exact <laughs> thing right here? You can understand my obscure '80s and '90s sci-fi references. <laughs> oh man! Wow. So uh, the car to all also has a very flight of the navigator ladder, mm -hmm. but, uh, but th this, this is one that was made by humans basically thoughts on the, uh, sorry, Shiver, go ahead. No, I'm agreeing. I'm just agreeing silently. Okay. Everybody's right. Um, what do we think of the, uh, the decision to go with, uh, hover, uh, skids rather than landing. I love it. Landing legs. I love it. I love it's very. It. It's a very consolidated out outland choice. They're the they're the yes. new kid on the block, and they're trying um, to make themselves interesting and fashionable. And the the only the only problem I have, the only problem I have with it, is that it's really hard to judge when you've landed. <laughs> Am I down? Um, Am I not down? Um. um like it, at least visually, like you can feel it when you land, because the because the ship kind of orients itself. Because you're never going to be at a perfect 180 when you're landing, never. So when you land, you feel the ship kind of like like mm -hmm. like shift just by like two or three degrees um, to get it just right, um, and that's that's when you hit it. But visually, it's really hard because <laughs> you don't know what the distance is. Um, it's, it's this, a great ship. I have this vision of like flying out into the wilderness and then trying to get out of my ship to go and do something and like kicking off the ladder and then my ship just like f hovers away, floats away across the plains. You're like, son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> there it goes. Um, it also reminds me of the, uh, the front of the Prowler. Um, it has those like, mm -hmm. those like grav thingies on the front of it, you know? Um, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, also, this this is one hundred percent the Cybertruck. Oh yeah, they like, they definitely uh, they well they called it out a few times, but yeah, they're they're going for Cybertruck vibes there. Yep. Also, I want a Cybertruck, please. Um, do what I re so so th this ship is also looks just like the Ghost but smaller. Uh, there's there's two of them now in Star Citizen, and I'm hey. Listen, hey, CIG sh ship people, I see that you like Rebels also, and I love you for it. Star Wars um, Rebels has some of the best ships in all of Star Wars. Uh, the Ghost is my favorite ship in Star Wars. And now there's two ships in Star Citizen that look like the Ghost. <laughs> the other one is the MSR, which is th both the Ghost and the Millennium Falcon just... <laughs> I wanted to ask what you guys thought about... Oh, and yes, I'm using the proper version of OBS again, so we can actually scrub through this video. Um, thoughts on slobs. Thoughts on the interior and the gun racks, like, right beside the entrance. Uh, I like it a lot. This is the new Bangs thing. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> um, they, they, made, they made the Mustang Beta too utilitarian on the interior. This is comfy. Th mm. This has like a leather couch in it. <laughs> Back to the bank thing again, except uh, Nomad style. Yep. 
All right. Uh, it does need a double bed to be the bank's thing. You're right. But oh, listen, well. hey. You're not if space. you not if you really try. <laughs> yeah, you're in space. Uh, you're uh, you're uh, you're uh, space. Space is a luxury in space. So you got to make do with what you got. All right, now <laughs> the interiors for CIG ships, all the CIG ships. It's the interiors that really make their ships stand out from. Mm -hmm pretty much every other game because they are 100%. built around the character they're built to a right scale mm -hmm. they're detailed they're meant to work it's it's really nice they're when meant they do their to interiors. work which is the really the coolest bit of the whole yep. thing 100%. there's so many environments in games where you're like this is pretty but nothing's interactable <laughs> you know it drives me there's, crazy um I think a lot of us have either played Star Trek online or are playing Star Trek online mm -hmm. and when it first came out, it had starship interiors and everyone was like this, this is, is weird. fucking massive yeah. this is too big and the thing with that was they you could customize your characters to be incredibly huge so the uh cryptic had to compensate with the uh hallways and the rooms to adjust for that and you end up with these massive structures that you just think <laughs> this wouldn't have worked on the show it's true oh it's hilarious it's true. oh man all right. So next up, we have IAE, which is now running. Yep. Uh, as is tradition, is. they made something like $1.2 million in their first day. Uh huh. And it's only going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ain't going to slow Well, because the first day, also, they did, they did the Pioneer. They sold the Pioneer. So yeah. that's, a, that's, a, that's not a small chunk of change. Oh, Pioneer is um, such a cool ship. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what, Dolvac, you're right. Um, I, 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 I do see the Pioneer using hover tech quite a bit. Check this out. This is amazing detailing, right here. Yes, goodness. Wow. Goodness. That's amazing. Um, also, uh, have you guys checked out the, the show floor yet? I was trying to, um, this happens. I, I think my, I think my install just finished as we went live, gotcha. but uh, so okay. I haven't been able yeah. to get in there yet, but it's I know gorgeous. a lot of people are having trouble getting in. Um, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm very impressed with, uh, with this, uh, particular convention center. Um, it's very microtech. It's lots of white, and mm -hmm. it's 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 just huge and obnoxious. Um, <laughs> but but it, it 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 feels it feels like a convention center, mm -hmm. like like more. I think more so than than any of the previous ones. It it feels like a convention center. Oh man, this shot here is uh, it's just, beautiful. There's so, there's a lot of beautiful shots in in uh, in this video, but uh, and I'm sure in the actual environment. I know. Have, but look at that shot. Darge. That's incredible. Darge is right. It is optimized also. It runs extremely well. You get really good frames once you're inside. They're probably the they're center. probably like, we better optimize this or else yeah. no one's even gonna be able to come in. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Yep. Yeah. I oh this is one that really caught me. this this one where it has the 890 jump inside in here. Yeah. It's just an oh man. Awesome. Incredible. Awesome incredible um but yeah and there's like there's like a map like when you get in this like oh here's where all the exhibits are i'm like man this this is just straight up like packs <laughs> like here it is i have to say though i would prefer to go to this convention over all other conventions oh, if it was real <laughs> i mean yes please take me um, to the spaceship convention <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What's oh, funny, Flossin? I I was a little scared because when I when I logged in the first time, I was at like fifteen FPS, oof. and and I have a, a good. You have a thirty ninety. Yeah, I have a thirty ninety <laughs> and a thirty nine fifty X in, in my rig here, so it can FPS. handle it. Um, but but once I got on the train from <laughs> the from the apartment buildings and I got to the convention center, I was at like fifty sixty the whole time. Nice, it was awesome. Yep. This view of the prowler is incredible. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I paused it there. But I, yeah, really gives you a feel it's for how favorite. big that thing is. Although, so yeah. so it is my favorite ship, but uh, I think the ship that I will fly if I'm by myself most of the time will be the Talon. Yeah, yeah, I can mm-hmm. see that. Um, also, the Reclaimer showing off its uh, big boy status. Look at the look at the look at this. There's like a, in the background. There's like a little piece of the Reclaimer is the same size as that ship. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> It's so cool to see. It's like the 890 jump is home here. <laughs> John, it's like, hey, <laughs> I'm amongst my people. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to get in game. I tried. I really wanted to get it done this morning, but I had, uh, um, I had trouble also, getting it something going. To, something to note, folks. Um, for some reason, the the UI for the um, to rent the Nomad uh, is not working. Mm-hmm. Um, so instead they just made it available to everybody in the meantime so mm-hmm. so it's just automatically in your inventory so if you want to check out the nomad now is the time yep yeah anybody can go and fly it right now mm-hmm. pretty great um all right let's move on to our last video from uh isc this week actually this might do i have another one maybe I'm not sure first of all thank you Hermes, for doing the uh, videos and i think that this one is yeah okay so we are now going to show absolutely carbide edge a hundred percent why was this not in this year's convention uh, I, I hope that to make it up to us that the presence of said person will be in every video going forward for the remainder of the year no <laughs> no. Uh, I one of my favorite parts of IE every year is Whitley's Guide. I I love these videos. They make me happy. <laughs> so another thing that we got to see here is the evolution of their uh, their uh, character tech, which keeps getting better and better and better and better. And uh, Jax is looking uh, pretty good. Yeah, amazing. Somebody on the uh, on the subreddit did like a side by side, and it's unbelievable. Like 2014 Jax versus this one is incredible. It's incredible. I mean, yeah. he, he's <laughs> yeah, he's exactly. changed a lot. He really has oh, changed yeah. a lot since he was first seen in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Shiver. Stop it. <laughs> he, he saw a dentist. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, I do quite enjoy him flying it into this freaking rock here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's test up the shield, smack. This is, guys, this is the authentic playing Star Citizen with Dolvac experience. By yeah. The way. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes. Except instead of a rock, he'll ram you and murder you with his ship. I see. That does seem rather Dolvac. It's Dolvac, so that's fine. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they did. This whole video they, they looks did so reference good. the 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 Cybertruck. Press oh, conference. they sure did. Yeah. Oh, there's Pico. You gotta have Pico in your ship. I, I don't think you're really yeah. allowed to have a ship without Pico these days. Um, thoughts on the color schemes? Uh, I like them all, to be honest. <laughs> I like black, so I'm a big fan of the black and red one. Um, I really like the white one because it looks like the PS5 controller. <laughs> Fair. Oh yeah, also this is the wrong see. video. See those feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the original <laughs> video and the, they're whoops. So if anybody doesn't know, they removed the original Nomad video off of YouTube because it had a incorrect shot where the Nomad still had legs. 
Uh, let's see if we can zoom back here. Hey, Kemi. Hey, Kemi. Yeah, right there. The Nomad with feet. It doesn't have feet anymore. Nope, and, no uh, more feet. And so they just re in like in the last hour or so or two hour two hours they just re-uploaded a new version of this uh, video with uh, the hover skids in it. I was just missing the sleds. Or otherwise, the video is exactly the same. Yes. Oh, they didn't so, render. Oh, okay. Oh, they didn't. Oh, that's good. That makes sense. So. I was curious um, about this. There almost so many... two million, Kemi. Almost two million. Almost in the two... first day. Uh, I don't so think it was one point six. Right? It was one point one point two. Oh, I thought it was one point six. One point two eight in the first day. One point in twenty four hours. It's it's still like, you know, top ten highest days of funding ever for Star Citizen. Yeah. So. Bang freaking Chow said it. he kind of misses regular <laughs> landing gear. I'm just wondering, out of interest, what is the general consensus? Do people prefer skids? Do people prefer wheels? I mean, the wheels might have an advantage in game of just being able to be moved around easier. But then the Nomad hovers. What's easier than a hovering ship? Mm -hmm. Is the answer. Um, I, I like it because it's different. And it also fits really well with Consolidated Outland as a brand, where they're just like throwing shit at the wall because they're brand new and they they're the old they're the by far the newest ship manufacturer. Most of the ship manufacturers in the game are like hundreds, hundreds of years of old. Yeah. Um. Where uh, actually, RSI is like nine Thousand. almost a nine hundred yeah. years old. Um. So wild. Yeah, they're. Uh, you're trying to jump in you're going to be using whatever weird weird things you can to draw your draw people's attention i think that's that's a cool shout out to that um so da -da -da -da, we have one more video which was the the movie or the video from today the aegis dynamics one now this one's mostly Jack's being silly, but there's also some great shots of gigantic spaceships. So look at that! It's a whole lot of really big ships. Man, the hammerhead I do like is the brown enormous. hammerhead. God, I do like it. The hammerhead's great. It's scary. <laughs> all the, you know what? All I've, those turrets. I have, I have been flying the Gladius a whole lot lately. Yeah. I always find myself oh, coming back to it. It's a very solid ship. However, this is my... I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite ships in terms of looks. Mm -hmm. The Ages Eclipse. She's just gorgeous. It's not mm -hmm. not fancy, just like... Built, oh. Purpose built. Yeah. That ship. And like a lot of Ages ships, just look scary when you look at it. <laughs> I don't really want the, one of those following me around. No, thank you. Uh. So, um, one of the other things I think uh, that's been notable here in the last uh, couple of weeks is apparently we have some issues with uh, fuel in the game right now. Yes. Does anybody know more the details Nomad about that? The Nomad is especially bad right now. I've heard the MSR and the Nomad are both having troubles. Their fuel they tanks are They just have tiny new. fuel tanks. And I don't think they should have that small of fuel tanks. If it's intentional, I'd be really surprised. I think somebody was saying they use like 30% of their fuel to take off in a Nomad. Or almost yep. all of it or something. I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, to get to get to orbit um, on pure hydrogen power, it takes uh, a third of your fuel. Holy crap. Yep. Yeah, you're not going to be flying very long with like, like that. Mm-mm. All right. <clears throat> uh, not a bug, but an issue of balance. Yes. Yeah, I don't think it's a bug. I think I think they just need to work out those systems. Mm -hmm. That's easy enough, especially if it's if it's balance. That's just changing numbers. So that's that's super easy if, once they kind of figure out where it want they want it to sit. This isn't a picture from this week, but it just reminds me of how awesome that picture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, I am frigate from. Homeworld. 
Or is it? You said, you said oh, that. You said that old. on the show when when we were doing that. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember the name of the alien species in Homeworld that were traders. All right. Roadmap. Quick look at the roadmap here. Um, so the Consolidated Outland uh, Nomad obviously got added, uh, you know. And completed. Mm -hmm. And complete, yeah, as a, as a completed ship. Same um, with the Star Runner. And the Star Runner was also added to the game recently with 3.11111111111111. And. Uh, God, catching up with Intel. Yeah, they're getting there. Uh, they may have to add a few more digits, though. Um, ben Tuzi, thank you for lost time. The mining UI refactor is done. It makes me very happy. Um, can't wait for that in 3.12 as a person who does a lot of mining. Also, uh, uh, station-based refining got to 99% complete. So Almost done. One more thing they got to do. It's uh, hovering right on the brink there. Yeah. Um, the elevator panel updates, unfortunately, apparently got some more tasks. That's something I would like re really like to see, so I hope it doesn't slip out. But um, um, yeah, some of some of that stuff is already in a few ships. Um, mm -hmm. Like the uh, the Carrick has it, and the MSR has it, uh, and the Nomad has it. Okay. Um, um, there's probably more, but those are the ones I've seen so far. What are we getting with Reputation version one? What is that? I, what is that actually going to look like? I'm going to go take a look at the roadmap here. Uh, the Nomad does on um, no. on the the component panels. Those buttons work. It's probably Reputation V one's probably going to be you steal a hot dog from someone in a station, you get a crime stat, you go out, and then you get shot down by the Idris. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> that sounds like V1. <laughs> You're like running across the landing pad trying to get to your ship, and it's just like. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> just, a, just a block of metal just cleans over the landing pad from being mass driven. The chicken from Sky. Oh, God. I literally, yeah, I was one of those people. Smoldering the... boots left over from the. <laughs> the spot the description here actually doesn't really have much it just says this will introduce the first iteration of persistent reputation between all entities within the star citizen universe as well as persistent npc organizations so basically they're just trying to get it into the game so they can start seeing how well it's working and then iterate on it yeah um ba -na -ba -bum. all right well um Have we put the questions link in at all? No. Shit, that's me. Sorry. No, no, it's not. No, your responsibility is just. I, I was like, hey, we, do we have any questions? Probably not. Do you have a macro for that? Shiver. No, I should do, but no. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, please ask questions. We would uh, like questions. But. Uh, since we're at peak viewership right now, I am going to answer the question a lot of people are probably wondering. Okay, can I ask you a question, Jake? Yes. What the hell have we been hinting at for the last week? <sighs> All right, guys. Uh, so, um, as you probably might have guessed from, uh, from the title of this stream, uh, this is going to be my last Relay Station podcast. Um, after five years of it goodness gracious um and uh the reason for that is not because i like i hate relay far to the contrary it's it's not it's just anything bad <laughs> in fact it's probably the best news that i could give in that uh I can't do it anymore because it would be a conflict of interest because on Why is that, no Jake? <laughs> on November 30th I am starting a new position at Cloud Imperium Games in Austin, Texas. I've heard of them. Who are they? They make games, right? Yep. <laughs> 
thank you thank you everybody um yeah <laughs> yeah that's it's pretty, pretty cool. crazy uh congratulations jake i've said yeah, it like um, seven times in private but you know congratulations <laughs> anyway <laughs> Yeah, I I found out on Monday. I got all the all my paperwork done for the most part on Wednesday. So uh, today is the day. And this is it. Um, I start right after uh, right after Thanksgiving. Um, I am joining the community team. Um, as as uh, nobody, <laughs> as as everyone probably would have guessed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. How much? Yeah. So how much uh, my job title is us? community specialist. Um, I am going to be working on the community team uh, underneath Tyler Witkin. Um, I cannot say specifically what I will be working on. Um, hopefully. I thought you were working uh, on Star Citizen. I well, yes, <laughs> I, I said specifically, <laughs> Eric. Um, I, I cannot, I cannot say exactly what I'm working on. Um, but, um, but it will, whatever it, whatever it is, uh, it will actually be ready pretty soon. So, um, so you won't have to wait too long. Are you going to be the guy who sets it up? So whenever someone goes to the on a ship, we can all hear it. Uh, no, but I, I can talk to some people. I oh, I know what people. he's doing. He's actually going to make sure the remember me button works on the website now. <laughs> yes, I'm a web developer. <laughs> it's part of the community, being able to log into the website, right? <laughs> oh. uh, no, I am not taking Molly's place, uh, I think is what you're referring to, uh, Kimmy. Um, my title is not community manager. It's a different thing. So let the speculation um, run rampant. Yeah, forever. Um, this is what we've been doing. <laughs> um, so, so I, I want to say this right now. As of right now, uh, I do, I have not signed an NDA, and I have not uh, uh, seen anything more than what everybody here has seen. So, so um, technically, you could tell us. Uh, no, that one I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> he's um, he's he's restricted anyway yeah um uh, yes okay so <laughs> shady phase i love this because <laughs> so for years <laughs> for years there's been a small subset of the of the internet that has is convinced that uh relay and the artist formerly known as inn uh, uh, was was like a shell company that that CIG decided to create, um, and like always get like paid, uh, like like we're, we we we're, we're we're endlessly positive because we're being paid by CIG. There's no way we could be that positive. So that has not been the case. But as of Monday the thirtieth. <laughs> I am going to be paid by CIG to talk positively about the video game. So. And unfortunately, that means we can't have him on the show anymore. Because yes. <laughs> he'll be too positive. Because we're officially um, too cynical. That's right. <clears throat> uh, so, how does I it will feel tell to... Proxis you said hello. How does I it feel do to that. be in the gaming industry sort of almost... Uh, it's still, it's, it's star like, I, I'm like, <laughs> I feel jittery right now. Um, it, it's starting to, to sink in a little bit and <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wild. I, Dol I, Dolvac thinks we should ban you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, too bad you don't have the power because I'm a mod on this channel. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh man. That's awesome. Um, all right. Let's see if we have any, no, unsurprisingly, nobody's asked any questions. Uh, I'm, I am not working with the content team. No. So I'm not, I'm not working with Jared. But you can still like randomly Skype call him at like four in the morning, right? Sure. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Does this mean that you can officially set it up so we can get Melissa Estrada on the show? <laughs> no. no. No? I can't do that. <laughs> can you just, you know, send her subtly my Skype address? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what's the point of this, then? No, there is oh no point. My. You might as well not take the job now, Jay. Just stay here with us. God damn it. So, um... And you, but you're still going to be on, uh, but you, I think you told us that you're going to be on the next Unnamed Game Show yes. on Tuesday? I will be on, on this coming uh, Unnamed Game Show. By the way, if you guys don't know, we have a, uh, I say we, I hate to say it, Relay has a podcast <laughs> on Tuesdays where they talk about uh, uh, video games that are not Star Citizen. So if, if you guys want to check that out, you should. Um and uh but yeah obviously i can't be on this show anymore because i'm an employee of cloud imperium yep that's weird to say <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, um so yeah so should we talk about the perseus sure it was a, it was a leak <laughs> Um, we, we, yeah, the, there, there hasn't been a lot. We'll, we'll know more in like two days. What happened there? There's there? nothing official. Somebody that's out said that they the got sleeping. like an email or something that had this information in it. And it's just like, it's weird. So there I don't was know how this the, got leaked. the chairman's club email, but it didn't have no. the image that was leaked. It's weird. Do we know how it was leaked? Or is it just a mystery? No, it, who knows? Um, yeah. Should we, should we answer questions? Hey, guys, if you have questions, uh, look out for Table of Horrors. He's posting a link to post said questions. Interesting. Um. So, uh, hot job. That's not possible because my position didn't exist until I took it. Although I like the theory. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great theory. That's a great theory. I've already um, told Chris Roberts that I love Star Citizen, though. I've met him two times. Uh, agent, my new job, I am, uh, going to be a community specialist for, for, for CIG. On the 30th. Dedicated on CIG. The oh, oh, Ben. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, do you have that, that document there, Eric? I do. Yeah, but ser seriously, before we move on, it's going to be surreal and sad and happy at the same time that Jake isn't here. Sad that Jake isn't here, but happy for the reason that he isn't here. But it's going to be weird for a lot of us, like people like me, who started watching way back when, when I can remember Jake starting reporting on the floor and then coming onto the podcast, and he's been a staple for so long. And now, you know, our little boy's growing up, and it's going to be this yeah. weird concept yeah. without him. And like, 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 I mean, me, I just like, I, t I like to talk about video games. It's, it's you guys who one believed in me, you and David, especially uh, Eric uh, at the time. And all of you crazy people in the chat who decided that my opinion on things matters enough for you to watch me ramble every week. Um, like, like. Sure, I worked hard, but it, like I absolutely did not get this without your guys' help. So I'm just completely, utterly grateful for all of you. Um, hot job, I will be. Um, I, I will. I am staying in Texas, but I'm moving to Austin. Eventually. Uh, Can you yeah. start putting in a good word to get them to make a studio over here? In Japan could do with a fucking job. <laughs> yeah, up here too. Yes. Up here too. I, I, my my job title is absolutely like VP of Studio yeah. Operations. Yes. Excellent. 
Chris Roberts' personal assistant. <laughs> no, no, Chris Roberts. That's his job title. He is now Chris Roberts. Um, I, I also want to say, I also want to say <laughs> that that all of you, uh, especially those of you who are in, uh, especially those of you who are in the Relay Discord, um, I changed my role in the Relay Discord on Tuesday. And no one CIG noticed. Staff. Literally none of you noticed. <laughs> Apparently people Relay don't... staff is purple. Relay staff is purple. We 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 do we use the, the World of Warcraft item rarity scale. <laughs> uh the mods are green, the content people are blue, the staff That's is purple, funny. and the CIG devs are, are orange because they're legendary. Oh um, I love it. Although I'm not legend. <laughs> <laughs> you're legendary now jake gross oh man um, that's funny playing a prank why would i do that it literally cuts me off from access to like five channels <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even know you were in there stat we i'm glad dodge nature Where's was said stat? that because i was thinking it <laughs> Ah, uh, the Neil Patrick I can't, I can't add him. So, I can't change it. Eric, you have to I, give I can stat change it. orange. Oh, I can't. What's his username? Stat. Do you need staticus? Okay. No, I just will. stat. Or just stat. <laughs> you need okay. to change stat. his status. Stat. Okay. Stat. I will do that. Um, You need to change Jake? stat, stat, stat. Yes. Kind of my hope the whole time I've been doing this thing for five years. In it, through its various, you know, iterations was basically this. So, um, that one of us would be able to work for CIG and actually contribute directly to the game. And, uh, I'm really happy that it finally happened. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's, I only uh, came here to inject cool. puns. It's true. <laughs> That's why we hired him. <laughs> For pun injection. Uh, okay, we have two questions. Come on, folks. Two questions. More questions. We're gonna we're gonna start with this one. Uh, Salvage Sam asks the stunning, stunningly uh, unexpected question of: Did they say anything about salvage, or is it MIA still? Uh, it is MIA as of right now. Um, just yeah. well, also because we don't have the 2021 schedule at all. So. One of the things that happened, was, well, actually, uh, Chris Roberts touched on this, I think, um, when he was did, was doing his uh, his sort of, uh, you know, reappearing act there for a few weeks, hmm. um, is uh, he said that, I think it was him, said that Salvage, they were looking at whether to put in Salvage now or, because they would have to refactor it again once they put in the iCache, so... They, I think they just basically decided to let it wait until iCash instead of putting it in and then refactoring it again um, in like six months. So um, I think that's the status of it. Um, they just didn't want to have to do more work than... They didn't want to mm. have to do rework. Mm. Um, but when it comes to putting it actually in the game, it's not like they're going to be starting from 0%. They're going to have mm -hmm. not just a good idea of what they want to put in, they're going to have an idea of how they're going to put in, how it's going to work, and then it's going to be easier to slot it in rather than just completely start from scratch or force something in now, have everything that's under the hood completely change, and then have to not quite start again from scratch, but start again from a completely different point. Yep. Uh, exactly. Yeah, Kimmy, I, I live in Dallas right now. So I'm I'm really sad. He he pointed out to me that there's no micro center in Austin. Yeah, that's I'm, a problem. I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed. You'll just have to drive to Dallas to go to Micro Center. There you go. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's like a four or five hour drive. It's four hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did that in our in uh the Tesla there. Uh, when we were in when we were in Austin, 
We went to a uh, whole bunch of us, and we went to CitizenCon there. We went to Johnson Space Center to NASA. That was really awesome. All right. Next question from Darji Poo. Um, <laughs> why are mommy and daddy getting a divorce, and is it my fault? Um, uh, it's all your fault, Darge. Yeah, we... We basically decided behind the scenes that um, that because of Darginator, uh, Jake should take the job at CIG. That was the decision. Yep. <laughs> uh, next question is from Agent 1213. Um... We actually see this is hard. What is the difference between the Polaris and the Perseus? We don't really know anything about the Perseus yet, except the picture. I guess I should grab that picture and put it up, hey? Um, am I think? Am I right in thinking that Polaris is uh, a little bit leaning towards a missile boat? Mm -hmm. It's got a big tu tubular it's, it's, torpedoes. It's anti-capital, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's an anti-capital sub-capital. Oh, mm -hmm. So maybe but... the Perseus is going to be an anti-fighter sub-capital. Mm. See, the funny thing is, they actually did put a picture of the Perseus in the uh, in the chairman's letter, but it was like it was like a sneak peek, super zoomed in, so you couldn't tell what it was. Um, I don't know where this picture came from. Show and tell. All right. Let's take a look Nobody at the Perseus. I'll be right back, I guess. It's, it's not called that. It's a... Uh, someone remind me the official class of the Polaris. Because it's not capital. Is it Corvette? Oh. might be Corvette, actually. I think it's a Corvette. Yeah. It is Corvette. Oh, so, in theory, it should be... It should have enough firepower to take down a capital. But also be evasive enough to not be caught out by a capital class's capital ship guns you know because the uh, idris has got a gun on it that's the size of a fucking aurora which hopefully should have a very slow tracking speed the polaris should be agility have enough agility to not be caught out necessarily by that gun unless someone really fucks up mm -hmm. so Shippers. There's some guy in the chat called Zylo. Never heard of him. There's a Zylo in the chat? Never heard of him. That's kind of funny because Jake got up and walked away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Zylo, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm not really sure what you could be referencing. Um, but welcome to the show. I've seen him pop up in um, Disco Lando's chat. He trolls poor Disco Lando. Oh, who's hey, in the uh, chat? Your boss is in the chat. Oh, hey, boss. How you doing? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Darge, I've never seen Jake and Zylo in the same room together. <laughs> what? Yes, you have. You were with me. Oh, that's hilarious. I've oh, never man. seen Jake take off his glasses. Maybe this is a whole Clark Kent Superman thing. Oh, my God, it's Zylo. <laughs> Actually, thank you for telling me to do that. I need to clean my glasses. <laughs> 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 All right, Shiver. I want I want your deep and intrusive thoughts on the uh, Perseus here, based on one picture that we have. So I that I mean I pretty much gave them to you. If the Polaris is going to be missile based, then it would make sense as a balance that the Perseus is going to be more turret or gun based. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fair. Um, it doesn't mean I'm right. <laughs> you know what this just, reminds you know, me of? Wild shot in the dark. This ship reminds me of some of the new U.S. Navy ships. That yeah. are like super clean, angular lines. It's interesting. But then they added that's a bunch of... That's actually like a point, Dolvac. They actually I think they're bolted nice. a bunch of stuff on top of it. Yeah, that's a good question. That, that main gun in the front is enormous. Because, I mean, it could all be relatively smaller-sized turrets, you know, like 
uh -oh. five sixes. And then the main big thing about it is it's got a size nine main gun. Maybe you use the Perseus in conjunction with the Polaris. The Perseus there bangs a hole using the guns in the capital ship's shields. The Polaris takes advantage of the hole in the shields and fires its torps. Very interesting. Can I use it like a Vandal ship where I can just cut... Cut ships in half? Ship. Mm -hmm. Yes, is this actually a picture of it flying through the middle of a hammerhead? <laughs> With that sharp nose, you know? Oh, man. An anti-Corvette Corvette. Yeah. I would approve of that. All right. Um, do we think that the cargo bay of the Perseus will be capable of holding a rover? It looks big enough ship's big enough whether it has a cargo bay that's big enough is another question yeah i would say if it has a cargo bay that is at all if it has size one, period Dolph, yeah. get out of here with your logic <laughs> <laughs> oh he's probably being probably right what do you think this is an informative podcast <laughs> no not also, at all also that question was from red art Red Ot. Yes. Instead of Red like, It. Two D two D's with an O? Yeah. Red Red Ot. Or Red Dot, but it's all together, so Red Ot. Red, red Hot. Like Frank's Red Hot? So the next question Bu Buffalo sauce. <laughs> the next question up is from Agent One Two One Two One Three. Also, mm -hmm. please ask us more questions. We need more questions. Um, Post that link. <laughs> and uh, what ships? Uh, what ships are being worked on right now? Obviously, we don't actually know the answer to this, um, but I'm curious what you guys think. All of them. Uh, well, yeah. Um, the. Uh, Okay, the, again, I, I know nothing yet. So the, the, I know, that's why I'm, I feel okay asking me. you. <laughs> I, I just, I need so to everything that, that Jake says is 100% confirmed and um, is completely canonical to true to law if it doesn't the Death happen, Star. It's Jake's fault. <laughs> Tyler hasn't sent me all my paperwork yet, so I don't know anything. Um, <laughs> so, uh... Oh. I think, I think, like b basically, if if it's needed for squadron, it's it's going to be being worked on, right? So, um, so uh, I I want to say the what uh, the mantis. I think the mantis is being worked on. Um, I think uh, all those support ships, like the military support ships, like um, the Apollo. Apollo? Mm -hmm. Apollo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You yeah. got it. I think that one's being worked on. Um, like the restock refuel uh -huh. kind of ship. Um Oh yeah, the mantis is in the game. <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, <laughs> um I mean they're probably working on it. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> Gotta do those the elevator Vulcan. updates. And... Yes, the Vulcan. Um, I'm gonna say I, I am going to say they are working on doing something with the Redeemer. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think they said at one point that uh, it's it's definitely gonna get changed a decent amount. Mm -hmm. Um, because they. There is a possibility that it will not have the same manufacturer at the end of the day. Oh, really? Um, That's interesting. Yeah, they, they, they said they might switch manufacturers just to keep everything, like... In line? Like, Uniform. Styled correctly. Um, they, they did say... I, I think they said, like, like the, the big design notes of the Redeemer are being kept. Like, the... Like the state yeah, they're keeping the, they're keeping the, the nutcracker. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, um Oh yeah, the yeah, you're right. Uh the there's a Redeemer Hollow model at the at, at yep. IE right there now. There was last so, year too. Um so yeah, they're they're definitely thinking about it. Um <laughs> Yeah, they could do that. Dark. You touch. Yeah, they could do that. They could do that. Um although although Consolidated Outlands literally only one of their ships is purpose built for combat. Just one. And that is the Mustang Delta. Mm-hmm. Um, I have one of those for some reason. <laughs> just randomly. You do? Yeah. Um, it's it's my friend from my one of my oldest friends from Boston. That was um, that was his first ship. Was the was the Delta? Oh yeah. Mine nice. was Beta, and I upgraded that Beta to an Avenger Titan when that came out. So, I think they're working yeah, on the ben Boston. I, I think they're working on the Bennu Merchantman because uh, that was apparently yes. the team that that did the Carrick. That was apparently what they're moving on to. Yep. Um, okay. So the Merchantman should be in progress, and uh, that will be a huge reveal when we get it. Because, um, <laughs> well, literally and figuratively, uh, the I Merchantman love is. Uh, Don't. <laughs> Do Dolvac is, I am to the Prowler as Dolvac is to the Merchantman. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, the Merchantman will be a, a huge, huge thing. Uh, that's a massive yep. alien ship, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna um, be bizarre. And I'm gonna stick with my uh, with my always prediction. I think that somewhere in the depths of CIG, somebody's working on a space station construction ship, like the pi like the space station version of the Pioneer interesting <clears throat> yes so so if they do that so okay so here here's my thing with exploding structures in star citizen okay. i think if it's not player made you can't destroy it i think if you if it is player made in any capacity absolutely you can destroy it um that makes and sense I, i'm going to say that that if they do the pioneer for space it will be the same way. I think. I think like, like you'll never be able to blow up Everest Harbor, right? You won't be able to blow up Port Tressler or Port Olisar. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, but a player-made station on the other side of the planet, go nuts, mm -hmm. blow that thing up. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, Although I think people would be more inclined to take them over than to destroy them. I do since, want a food truck. Very since bad. the, uh, I'm, I'm with you, Bang. And I think. I think that controlling them would be more useful than destroying them but that's just my feeling um shiver what do you think what's in what's in work i, mean, right I think now? i think they're working on all the current ships that are in at the moment <laughs> getting yes. them all up to that's different fair. standards they have to, they have getting to them add, yeah they have to add the pipes the pipe systems to a lot of ships that exactly yeah <clears throat> um but in addition to that I agree completely, Banu Merchantman. That's really good shout. <laughs> and the Redeemer. They're, those are very good shouts. But I'm, I'm going to go a little bit crazy here. Because one of us has to. And I keep wanting to call it the Tiger's Claw, but it's the Bengal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, so so the, Bengal, the Bengal is a set piece at the end of the day. <clears> right? <throat> it's, it's, it's not a ship one can fly right until um, you do <laughs> until you do i mean the most they've said is you might find a derelict one out there somewhere that you could potentially salvage with like a hundred other people or or you seriously to... Bryce, Serena, you just made that connection really really or you need to <laughs> um or you need to uh oh jesus or you need to yes. steal one from the you you, you have to you or you have to steal one from the UEE, which, you know, probably yeah. would be the most difficult thing anybody has ever done in a video game. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I mean, uh, it is multiple servers worth to spawn. It's a fucking huge ship on its own. Just on its own is going to grind even the any biggest server ship. to the ground. They, they no, need, it's not. They will need server but meshing for that ship. 100%. Yeah. It's the detail that's within that ship compared with the retribution retribution mm. is just a massive floating cannon 
so that you don't necessarily you don't have to have crew decks you don't have to have a massive train that goes from one end of the ship to the other whereas the bengal is a lived-in carrier ship that is more of a traditional ship so you've got a lot more detail going on on the inside of there so you need eye cache server meshing the physics grids all of that perfectly working but they can still do work on it, it you know work on the models and all that sort of thing until it's in a place where they can bring it in and I also kind of, I'm still hoping that they're working on the Pegasus because I love that fucking ship. I I hope it's still alive somewhere in the depths there. Um, we've only, I think, we've only seen it the once, right? Mm. Yeah. Like that was a Christmas six... stream, wasn't it? No, it was. Um, it was an it was an anniversary stream. They used to do any anniversary streams, and it was uh, yeah, it was like 2014, I think. It was like a while six, ago. six years ago. We haven't seen it since. <laughs> I think I think it was like a year or two ago they could, did confirm it still exists. It's just no one's worked on it since. So, yeah, here's hoping that it eventually comes along. That's a pretty cool ship. Oh, and you, I still th I think they're working on the Vandal fleet. Yeah, I mean, of course. Because Squadron. Yeah, let's let's swap right. back to full view here. Okay, sure. You don't want to stare at the Perseus? Fine. No. <laughs> I don't. Who knows? Maybe maybe somebody is watching this on an OLED screen. They don't want that burning. <laughs> they have our faces burned to their screen instead. Yeah. Um, we're moving. It's fine. Uh... Um, okay, there'll be Shiver's Hedgehog burned into their screen instead. <laughs> yeah. There he is. His name is Douglas. Hi, Douglas. Douglas Adams. It is now. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Darge, Darge asks, what upcoming ship on display at the IEE are you most excited for? Uh... I don't know. Uh, the SRV. <laughs> Let me see if he's going to get angry at me here. I didn't read his question exactly the way he typed it. Um, <laughs> the SRV? Yeah. Hmm. What ships are... Actually, I haven't been able to get in there yet. So, what ships are on display that aren't released yet? Can you think of a few? The SRV. <laughs> That's the um, only one? Uh, uh, I haven't gone in today, so I guess the Redeemer. Okay. Uh, I don't know what else is in there. Oh, the Vulcan. Vulcan. Yeah. Okay, yep. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's it's weird I for me. The... I don't oh, remember the Nautilus. I completely. Oh, there for... you go. I always forget about that ship. There you go. Um, have they put the Tonk or anything like? Well, I say the Tonk or anything. It's only the Tonk. Have they put that on a hollow model yet? Yes, I think they had it in last year, didn't they? I don't remember last year. <laughs> that was years ago, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's it's very true. That was nearly three hundred and sixty-five days ago. It was. And this year has been at least ten years. Oh, ago. Fleet Week. That was it. Um, that was this year. So, the Tonk. It's really. I, I just want to talk about this for a minute. It's really weird for me. For years doing this show and being in relay and and you know following Star Citizen, I knew all the ships. And now it's gotten there's to the point. Many. There's a, there's 150 ships now, and I, I I can't fit them all in my head. I always remember. I, I always forget some, and then I'm like, that ship. What is that ship? Oh right, Fly it's them that is one. my real test. Fly them is my cause. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to come up with a three-syllable thing to say instead of Pokemon, but I couldn't. I, I just... <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that actually <laughs> is basically Jake's desire in the game, though, is to have all the ships. Yep. Uh, uh, I will acquire uh, every ship. I 
won't buy some of them. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> some will be uh, acquired by less than legal means. <laughs> CIG. <laughs> Gotta buy them all. Oh, I love it. Um, more questions, please. Um, so. What kind of things do you, so we're, we're running up against the end of the year here. What kind of things are you expecting to see in 2021? Like realistically. Salvage. So you think iCash um, is going to be in there? Got it. Mm -hmm. I, th I think we'll see iCash next year at some point. Um, I think the engineering role. Yeah. Yeah. They're starting to finish. prepare for that for sure. Um, um, by the way. C CAG, I know there are a few of you in here. Keep it up with the uh, the, the prototypes of the mechanics, um, because that is really really cool stuff. I got I geek out pretty severely at uh, at those shots in uh, ISC. Go ahead and show. You got it. Pyro. I think we'll start to see the pyro system at towards oh, the end yeah. of the year next Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Yeah. We haven't, a, we haven't had a new location in a year. If you think about it. Because they're all working on pyro now. Ah, ooh, ah. ooh. Um, I love Microtech though. Oh yeah, we forgot about Orison. Yeah, Orison still needs to come online. Um, I think they're they're waiting on something for Orison, right? I thought they were. Um, yeah, didn't they say this? What they've got in now is basically pushed everything to the limit. Ah, so we need. I think that might be it. We need lots of things. I know Orison was taking them longer than, than expected, but I can't remember the reason. Just a second, I'll look it up. There was either. a reason. There was a reason given by what by why they pushed it. Um, because it was supposed to come like six months ago. Yeah, it sure was. Uh, I don't think it's cloud tech because they've been making serious progress on that cloud tech. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but they show that cloud tech. All the time. I mean, yeah, because isn't the cloud tech also going to be used for nebulas or you know mm -hmm. similar tech? Because yeah, mm -hmm. which would make sense, of course. <laughs> Darge, get out of here. Okay, here's what it says. <laughs> so this was a, the July twenty fourth, twenty twenty roadmap update. Crusader and Orison landing zone. Previously, we've communicated that our goal was to release Crusader and Orison in the Alpha three twelve patch. However. We've made the decision to hold Orison and Crusader for a two-part release in Q for Q1 and Q2 of next year. Oh, um, that's not that far. Since our original goal was set, the team has worked hard to bring existing locations up to standard. Oh, okay. Yeah, they basically started working on the new Planet Tech stuff, and it delayed them on Orison. That uh, was what happened. That'll do it. Yeah. Um, do you remember when they would work, it. Well, when they showed us roads? procedurally generated roads so they could just lay down yeah and... i do and then i think i think it becomes a pro <laughs> uh oh <laughs> somebody got jake so <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> he doesn't come <laughs> here often but when he comes in he has some great lives yeah. oh. <laughs> somebody did <laughs> oh th thanks darge i have officially been thrown under the bus <laughs> um so <laughs> <laughs> that's a good joke oh man so um honestly xylo is funny enough he should just replace you on this show hey xylo you want to come hey, every week I'm down. <laughs> I'm down i would watch that show wait um, i would watch that hang, show. hang on a minute if we're going to get Zyla, could you bring Melissa Estrada with you as well, please? For reasons. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds he can do it. There we go. Good to go. All right. Um, uh, Zyla, right. I'll send you your shirt. I'll send you your shirt. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, it's every Saturday at 4 o'clock or uh, 3 o'clock our time. So <laughs> that update that update in Orison was... I'll just take your job. <laughs> there you we go. Have, I mean... 
aside, aside from Jake, we haven't actually had anyone from <laughs> oh. CIG on for quite a while, so. Yeah. We haven't. Um, we also haven't, you know, <laughs> chased it too hard. Um, That's true. <laughs> so. <laughs> I love you, Zylo. I've oh. never even met you and I love you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, so. That's the best response I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, for anybody still wondering about Oris, and I actually found some more info. So, this is from the most recent, uh, road, uh, not roadmap, but from those most recent monthly report. Uh, Landing Zone team continue to work work on Orison. Graybox, the industrial platform, is in is doing well. Um, basically, they're finishing up the the gray box for large parts of it. Um, so then those pieces will just have to go through final art. The spaceport is already moving through final art, so that's come along a long way. Nice. Um, nice, nice. So yeah, nice. it sounds like it's on track to to. Uh, to come out uh, next um, year it like i i put orison in the very back of my mind for a long time and then do you know what like brought it like suddenly back to the front of my brain what's that is you playing an season of seven of uh apex legends oh yeah Cause, for sure because yeah. olympus is just big round orison <laughs> so <laughs> it's i'm like oh man this would be great and star citizen is so nice and clean and there's clouds and plants is beautiful oh yeah yeah olympus. that's awesome it's cool we've also seen olympus in uh titanfall 2 mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. taken right out of that game yeah. um also in this is this note was more work was done on Crusader uh, alongside tech changes for gas giants, which will also benefit regular planets. That sounds like cloud tech to me. Hey Zylo. Anyway, um, time was also spent prototyping touch bending for foliage. Yes, please. And object touch buoyancy bending. for foliage. Yeah, so when you touch them, they bend. The the they're giving it the naughty dog treatment is what they're doing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There was an amazing um oh what game was that? Uh Shiver, maybe you remember it. Um there's a Russian game that was like just basically driving various vehicle old Russian military vehicles through mud. Oh. Uh spin tires? Something is that runner. What mud runner? Spin tire, they were right. Spin tires. I'm thinking of snow runner. Yeah. That's uh, spin tires, yeah. Spin tires is it was this like super focused game. Its entire focus was having good mud physics. And it's the redneck version of Blade Runner. And uh, and the other thing they had was this was that game was released six years ago. They had the most amazing like the the young trees bent like perfectly, perfectly yeah. realistically. You like hit them with your vehicle and they would just like bend over. They wouldn't break and they wouldn't not you know they wouldn't do the whole GTA full thing where where <laughs> you run into yeah. them and they stop. <laughs> it's full of water. Uh, yeah. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. great. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I have, I have high hopes for CIG on their tree bending tech as well as their grass bending tech, which is probably more what they're working on. <laughs> Do you think they're working on air bending tech? Um, air is harder to bend. Um, but I I'll think so. Some of the enemies I've heard of. I'll call up Aang. We'll see what he's, he's got going on. <laughs> oh man. Um, Cactus so. juice bending. It's the quench. The cactus juice bending. All right. Um, you haven't watched Avatar? I think the next... In the, me? Yeah. No. What? Um, Eric. <laughs> I'm disappointing uh, Jake a lot recently. No! We got to shut this show down. You need to watch <laughs> The Last Airbender right now. Right now. <laughs> it is uh, maybe... The we greatest, have eight minutes left, man. It is maybe the greatest TV show of all time. It is possibly the best show ever made. Really? The best show? Yes. Right. Yes. Shiver, do you share this opinion? <laughs> I don't watch anime. Okay. Which is really difficult in this fucking anime. country. It's not technically anime. It was made in the U.S. Oh. 
Well, I definitely can't watch it over here then. It's, it's Nickelodeon. <laughs> um, so, I think the next big th- and the, I know they've been working on this for years, but I think the next big visual improvement that the Star Citizen really needs, especially for planet, well, no, for planets, is to get clouds working properly. Mm. Cause it it's really weird. The ground, like the most of the planets, look really good now, but just don't clouds, <laughs> or at least proper clouds that look like clouds. It's very strange. Um, so that's that's. I think that's the next big one, um, and I'm hoping that comes next year. And I'm hoping it is somehow attached to the Crusader gas giant tech, but um, we'll see. I suppose. Does anybody have any last minute questions? We're seven minutes from the end of the show here, but we could use one or two more questions. For Jake's last show. Is my last show. It's his last show. If anybody, you know, came in late. That's um, really fucking weird and sad. Stop saying it. <laughs> uh, that's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. Today's like weird. It. This whole year is weird. Um... <gasps> wait all right listen tyler if there's i want star citizen hawaiian shirts and i'm sure yes. you have pushed for it come I'm on sure we need you have we need I'm, star I'm citizen hawaiian shirts i'm almost 100 million percent positive that you you have pushed hard for that to happen but listen you'll have another voice with you does that need to wait though until until Unite. until we have a planet where that's that's like tropical like that's that? tropical and then they can have like a Star Citizen shirt that's like all focused around that planet, you know? It'd be like a tourism shirt. Ryzen. I I keep meaning to grab the the Carrick shirt, but I realize that I don't go to anything formal anymore. <laughs> right? Even before COVID, I have it in years. So. Yeah. You know what? We... No. I'm gonna get one. And I'm going to wear it to David's wedding. Perfect. <laughs> there you go. Um, clouds and dense Unless vegetation. Unless he makes me be in the wedding. Which, that would be weird. I would I would probably say no. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. I'd probably say no. I think we should all be in the wedding. It should, okay. So, so either it's. That'd be funny. Either it's none of us or it's just us. <laughs> just us that's 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 <laughs> the the requirement <laughs> nakara can perform the ceremony as he is the space pope yep i could it's do true. that i could do that could officiate the wedding <laughs> that'd be so weird <laughs> did you i don't know why this reminded me but uh the pope visited japan and was given this shirt that was covered in all this anime stuff referencing him and that and he actually wore it oh that's cool that's nice of him (sighs) um is that it yeah kimmy kimmy was talking about how um one of the things you know waiting for is clouds and dense vegetation capable of covering an entire planet with maintaining high frame rates yeah that's the dream we're not gonna get it until the very end of development if it ever happens (laughs) High frame rates are the are a pipe dream while in development. It's usually uh, the last thing that happens. Yep. Cuz you got to op- you have to wait until all the pieces are last there 6 months of development. Last 6 yep. months of development is when you actually get everything working properly. <laughs> <Don't> <sighs> like sword art, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> wait, am I reptilian? I mean, I was keeping it a secret, but you know. All right, folks. I think that's it. No. <laughs> I well, I don't it. know what you're talking about, Jake. I, I, I think I'm just going to, like, force this out of my memory. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, guys, hey, all of you here in the chat, you are the best. You yeah. are... You are the... You guys are the reason why we do this. And... Like, without all of you guys, I would not have, I, I wouldn't have an opportunity like this. Like, I, I feel very propped up by this community, and that's really amazing. Um, 
and now I get to serve all of you guys in a much more influential capacity, I guess. Um, and and now from now on, whenever there's a problem at CIG, we'll just blame you. We'll be like, yeah, damn it, I mean, Jake. No, I, I give you full <laughs> full permission. Anytime something's wrong at CIG, it's my fault, one hundred percent. I I'm the linchpin holding the entire company together now. Obviously, yes, the newest hire. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Even started yet. Hashtag blame Jake. There you go. Yeah. Every Reddit thread, every, every all all over Twitter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the scapegoat. Is what it is. Perfect. Easy. Easy. It's already trending. Look at this. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Night Rider, you would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, man. I'm gonna let uh, you sign off the show. Yeah, uh, guys. If you like this show, uh, as I have for five years now, uh, please consider giving us a follow there on the Twitch channel. Uh, please come hang out in Discord, which you will still find me at yelling about Star Wars and how Disney made it better. Um, and uh, <laughs> uh, go to Discord.gg/relaysc if you want to hang out with us. Um, and uh yeah um thank all of you for an awesome awesome five years <laughs>